Thanks, Ken. But you didn't have to buy me all these amazing new outfits. Ha! <laughs> like I'm not going to get you a present for Waffle History Month. Warning. Warning. Critical couture capacity exceeded. <gasps> what in the world? It finally happened. Your closet is... full. Commence purging with extreme prejudice. Huh? Well, clean out my closet? But everything in here is full of memories. Like these jeans. I was wearing them the time we had our 19th all-night phone call. What about this scarf? <gasps> Don't you remember? We put that on that fashion-forward snowman we made. Sassy the snowman. What a holly jolly soul. Then what about this? <sighs> These? Those are the shoes I was wearing six hours ago when we started this. What's that? Exactly what I was afraid of. The energy generated by the sheer fabulousness of these clothes could tear a hole in the space-time continuum. Good thing I always carry a sewing kit. Let me crunch the numbers. There's got to be a way to save us from this clothes apocalypse. Hey, we could put all this stuff on the Bee Friends auction site. Your fans will pay big bucks, Barbie. Oh, wow, I can't believe we sold all this to one buyer. Oh. My flight attendant uniform. That was my 32nd favorite career. <laughs> oh, poor Barbie. She's not ready to let go. Barbie, you should rock all this stuff one last time. That would be so cool. Yes! <laughs> Retro chic. I love it. That's the last of it. Barbie, your stuff is all packed and ready to go. Okay, I'm ready. Seal it up, Teresa! Ah! <laughs> <sighs> Bad news, guys. The buyer wanted everything in its original packaging. Whoops. Now what am I gonna do? Barbie, I fixed your closet overload. I just moved some of your stuff to my house. You did? Wow, thanks, Ken. Now I can keep my clothes and all those great memories. There. 